Kevin McCarthy said that uh, terrorists are coming in through the U.S. Mexico border border from Yemen, Turkey and wait, Yemen, Turkey and Iran. It was there was no actual evidence of that, but there was no actual evidence of that. Two men on the FBI's terrorism watch list were caught trying to enter California. The arrests happened on different days, but authorities say both men were on their radar and both were on the no fly list. There was no actual evidence of that. Troll agents in California have now been identified on a terrorism watch list. The first man was detained near the Calexico port of entry back in January. Agents found a cell phone SIM card hidden under the insole of the 33 year old shoe. The second man, a 26 year old, also tried to illegally enter the same area last week. Both men are undocumented Yemeni nationals. Here is Kevin McCarthy saying it as I played for you yesterday. Let's review the clip. It's not just people from Mexico or Honduras or El Salvador. They're now finding people from Yemen, Iran, Turkey, people on the on the terrorist watch list they are catching and they're rushing it all at once. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, there is no evidence of that. But it sounds really damn good and scary. Meanwhile, four people whose names are on the terror watch list have been arrested as they were trying to cross the southern border. A friend of the show and former David Pakman show guest, Congressman Ruben Gallego, is on the subcommittee on intelligence and special operations. He represents Arizona, a border state, so he would know something about this. And he tweeted, quote, Weird as the chairman of the subcommittee on intelligence and special operations and a border state member of Congress haven't heard anything about this. Going to ask for a briefing. Pretty sure he is either wrong or lying. And the congressman went on to say, Hi, Republican leader, meaning Kevin McCarthy, I have the same security clearance as you do. Can you have your office arrange for a classified briefing for members to see where this info derived from? Uh, Customs and Border Patrol was asked about this. They haven't commented. And the truth is that this is just an old lie that is being refreshed once again. The White House downplaying the arrest of two Yemeni men on the terror watch list. They got them separately, too, who tried crossing the border illegally. Well, this, as the CBP deletes the photos of the men and got rid of the press release about their arrest because of national security concerns. Really? That's right. That's what they say. Yeah. Donald Trump told this lie in 2019. Donald Trump t told this lie in January of this year before leaving office. He said, quote, we have terrorists from the Middle East coming into our country through the southern border. Donald Trump again made this claim. They, uh, they're coming in. You take a look. They're coming in from all foreign countries. I see they're coming in now from Yemen. They're coming in from the Middle East. They're coming in from everywhere. They're dropping them off and they're they're pouring into our country. There is still no evidence that people on the terrorist watch list from Iran, Yemen and Turkey are going to Mexico and then illegally crossing over to the United States. Two Yemeni men arrested by Border Patrol identified on the FBI's terrorism watch list. You won't find it because, as you mentioned, Steve, they wiped it clean. You, you can't say it's not happening. Well, then what are we talking about here? At some point, we have to say, what is the evidence that this is going on? The Department of Homeland Security has announced the arrest of two Yemeni nationals, both failing on their separate attempts to sneak into the United States. Why smuggle yourself in through the southern border? Why even send people already on the watch list, which could only attract attention? It makes no sense. It doesn't even pass the sniff test. On January 29th, a 33 year old man was arrested just 10 yards across the Mexico Calexico border. He was then identified as being on the terrorism watch list along with the no fly list and carrying a secret SIM card hidden in his shoe. Two months later, another 26 year old Yemeni terrorism suspect was arrested two miles from the Calexico border station. Has there been any terrorist attacker on U.S. soil who came from the Middle East over the U.S. Mexico border illegally? I, I looked, I spent some time this morning looking. I wasn't able to find a single example of any uh, wrongdoer, I guess is the, the term assailant. I don't know what term you want to apply who did what is being alleged here. Not a single example. And I by all means, if you find one, let me know and I will issue an update, a, 
a correction, call it what you will. But yet another completely imagined story, which as of yet is not supported by any evidence whatsoever. Border Patrol agents tell me that then when they were arrested, they were in groups of other migrants trying to cross in, trying, they say, trying to disguise themselves with other migrants trying to get into the United States. Over the last several weeks to month and a half or so, Republicans and right wing media pushing the narrative of a crisis at the border and a surge in undocumented crossings. Is this real? Well, the Washington Post analyzed Border Patrol data going back to 2012, and there appears to be no crisis whatsoever. There is no surge that we could link to Biden administration policy. What we are seeing is data that tracks a seasonal pattern. This is the time of year. The head of Border Patrol Council, Mr. Judd, said the surge currently at the border is unlike anything they have ever seen. Sheriff Lauterbach of Jackson County said this is complete chaos that we are witnessing now. And that is certainly what we've seen over the last day and a half. When we were with Border Patrol agents yesterday, they, they told us that last month was the busiest month in the history of Border Patrol since they've been keeping records, since they've been keeping data. Busiest month on record. It simply is not the crisis that Republicans want you to think it is. It's the crisis that we've had in this country for a long time, combined with a lack of comprehensive immigration reform, which I and others have been calling for for just as long of a time. Packed in plastic tents, children shoulder to shoulder, playing and sleeping under foil blankets. This is the reality inside Biden's border facilities. It simply is not the crisis that Republicans want you to think it is. It's the crisis that we've had in this country for a long time. We're way over capacity. We're like 700 percent over capacity. If they look intrigued by the cameras, it's because this is the first time they've been allowed in. When you talk about border crisis, it's sort of like Sleepy Joe and China virus. These are terms that the right uses to frame the debate in a particular way where you're no longer questioning whether there is a border crisis. You're merely arguing as to whose fault it is and to what degree it exists. And this is how the right does really well at framing issues. It keeps Republican voters enraged. It doesn't really allow solutions to the problem. Are you fucking retarded? The hell's the matter with you?